Here is an exam style question on proof by contradiction fraction problem. Prove by contradiction that if p and q are positive integers, then p over q plus q over p is greater than or equal to 2. Please pause the video, have a go at the question, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution. The first step is to write down the negation of this statement. Here is the negation. Suppose there exist at least one pair of positive integers p and q such that p over q plus q over p is less than 2. So now we need to continue with the proof. We need to trust the process, continue with the proof, use some creativity until we arrive at a contradiction. So naturally, as a mathematician, what I would do next is combine these two fractions by cross-multiplying. This gives me p squared plus q squared all over p q, less than 2. Now we know that p and we know that q is more than 0. So the product p times q has to be more than 0. I can multiply both sides of, of this inequality by p q. So on the left hand side I'll have p squared plus q squared and on the right hand side I will have 2 p q. Now this inequality stays as less than because we know that the product p times q is more than 0. Now I'm going to take everything to the left hand side. So I've got p squared minus 2pq plus q squared is less than 0. I'm going to factorize this. But before I do this, I can split the minus 2pq into minus pq minus pq. So I've got p squared minus pq minus pq plus q squared is less than 0. Again, trust the process. Continue with the proof. There will be a contradiction. Okay, so I can factorize these two terms and then these two terms. I've got P, open bracket, P minus Q. Then I've got minus Q, open bracket, P minus Q. This has to be less than zero. So if I factorize this one over here, I get P minus Q, P minus Q, less than zero. And this can be written as P minus Q in bracket squared, less than zero. This is a contradiction. Because the square of any number can never be less than zero. Hence, now we have to write a conclusion. If P and Q are positive integers, then we must have that P over Q plus Q over P has to be greater than or equal to. End of proof. This completes the exam style question. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.